For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can convert an SVG graphic into a vector I.O. graphic that you can use with Display I.O. in CircuitPython. So here I have a little TFT feather wing and a Feather M4. And what I'll do is show you this first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the scale of my graphic and hit save. This is the cool thing about scalable vector graphics. When you, when you want to, you can change the scale and the image still works. So here I've got a, a very cool bat logo. I'm going to pump that up a whole bunch more. So unlike a raster graphic, I'm not stretching pixels out and making a mess and aliasing things. Instead, I've got a number of vertices here and lines drawing among them using our little line object. Uh, you can see in the code here, I am using vector IO. That's the key thing. And then I have this really cool class that Toddbot wrote called SVG logo. This makes an SVG logo point set into a vector IO point set. So if you take a look at my Chrome capture, uh, right here, I have this site up, Path to Points, it's in Java, and what I'll do is I'll drag an SVG graphic, you can find these all over the place, and here it's turning that into a set of vertices, and you can make some adjustments to that, and then you'll save off that set of points, you'll run it through a little Python script, and then you have something you can cut and paste into this here. You can put multiple paths together, this originally came from Todd's uh, DVD logo bouncing screensaver. And uh, that's about all there is to it. I can, I can set the scale of it. I can set the dimensions of it if I want. But here I've just got a little function where I can make this as big as I want. Eventually it's going to fly right off of the screen. But a really, really handy way to make some graphics that you don't have to just have one fixed size of. Now you can see it's not super fast to draw here. But this, in this case it's really big, which, which can slow it down. Uh, but you can use smaller ones in movement or you can use larger ones static. And so that is how you can turn an SVG graphic into a vector I.O. shape inside of CircuitPython. And I'm psyched about it. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec. 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 Parsec.